did you know? Three shapes which will be used to create any painting. Any painting. Just the three shapes. I will tell you what are those shapes. This one vertical second horizontal third diagonal these three shapes every artist used to build his painting because in nature every object everything based on this shapes. For example, take the human figures, take the trees, take the bushes, whatever it or even take the man-made buildings. All are vertical. See, all those things are related to vertical. Again, I am telling you, human figures, bushes, trees, buildings, whatever they are, all are vertical. They are related to this vertical shape. Second, see the horizontal, the earth, the water, and everything flat, and they are horizontal, third, diagonal, which are interesting. Suppose, if you have to draw eye, see, this is one diagonal, this is one diagonal, this is another diagonal, this is another diagonal. So, it will make, make an eye, again, See, another diagonal, two diagonals here, it will make the eyeball. So, same way, you can be two diagonals, two diagonals, it will become a nose. So, what it tells, these three shapes, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, these three shapes will be useful to build anything for an artist on canvas, they will help them to give realistic illusion on two-dimensional surface. And one more thing, you may have doubt, previously I said that is flat, yes, that is round, but to an artist, to work on two-dimensional canvas to him, that is flat. Why we have to use these shapes in our painting, that is the question. Because nature built with these shapes, we have to use these shapes in our painting to get realistic illusion. Otherwise our paintings look artificial. To avoid that artificial appearance, we have to use these shapes which built by nature. Next one, how we have to use it? That's the important question. So, there are diagonals. There are verticals, there are horizontals. These three things we have to use. One simple technique we have to follow here. One of them we have to put in more dominant position. For example, suppose if you apply diagonals this much ratio, this much ratio diagonals, then the horizontals will be reduce the quantity ratio, then the vertical will be like this. So these ratios, this is more, the diagonals are more, horizontals are little bit lesser than the diagonals, vertical is very lesser. If we use in these ratios, our painting will be balanced. That is the secret to how to use to get beautiful paintings with these shapes. I will show you how to use these shapes in painting. In my previous videos, I explained about the shapes, which are diagonal, vertical, 
origent. So in this, I'm explaining, see this is horizontal area, this is diagonal area, mountains, and again this is horizontal area, this is diagonal area, this total shape is diagonal, this total shape is diagonal, this total shape is diagonal. So, what's the term? So, diagonal nearly occupies more than 60-65% and horizontal is occupied nearly 30%. So, remaining is vertical. What we do with vertical, I will show you at the end. Now, I will start painting. Roughly, I covered mountains area with a little bit less detail because it's that way we feel the distance. Now I work at the horizontal area uh, at the bottom of the mountain. area now. Now I, I more or less I completed the bottom of the mountain and the bottom of the distant trees. Now I am going to the middle ground.
after putting these verticals, I think there is nothing to pinch. It's enough. You have to know when to stop to work.